So what's up everybody? Uh, man, I'm walking. It's my first day in uh, Kampala. Hope y'all are good. It's actually uh, around what, 9 p.m. right now. Just finished eating. Probably go to the hotel, but um, briefly I want to talk. No, before I get started, man, this, this is a city that rarely sleep. And uh, one second. Man, check this out. Traffic. I don't know if you can see it's dark right now. But anyway, this is my first day. Just landed. I'm not gonna shoot too much uh, tonight because you can barely see me actually. Uh, but the key is of this particular video is um, to showcase uh, how we can uh, expand across Africa on a low budget. Uh, that's one of the, that's one of my goals actually, that's what we're working on, not having to raise so much capital all the time. And uh, that's one of the thesis uh, I'm planning to uh, focus on and uh, fig figure this, this thing out. But it's been a very learning, <coughs> learning curve for us as far as uh, understanding the market how to use technology to minimize the size of the team um, and most of all you know how can you figure out a way to develop a business model that will not require you to have a lot of people on the ground because what kills uh, startups I want to say kills because team is important but one of the hurdles one of the challenges is uh, staffing that is very expensive and uh, it's also uh, sorry guys and when I say this city doesn't sleep it doesn't sleep love Kampala man it's a lot of little bit of chaos but uh, a lot of business opportunity but that's the goal uh, that you have to uh, to check out. That's a lot of goal you have to check out uh, in a lot of times is, you know, minimize your cost and, and allow you to expand outside uh, the continent. So, so that's one of the challenge uh, we'll be talking about in this vlog. And uh, check it out, man. Uh, we'll be here for four days. Uh, so basically we'll be documenting a few things and I uh, hope you learn something. Good morning, everybody. Second day here in Kampala, so um, I wanted to briefly catch up on what I was saying yesterday and make it a, a much bigger video explaining how to expand. But uh, one of the key things you need to guys to do is, is not centralizing decision making when you expand um, in another country, meaning you can't duplicate everything from one country to another. Uh, it's just not gonna work, right? So you have to decentralize your decision making and decentralizing by hiring, for example, a country developer. That's what we do. So what I'm gonna share on this video basically is what we've done um, as a company, as ARED, uh, which has been the key uh, for, for our expansion plan here in Kampala, for example, or in Uganda. Uh, so the first thing we did first thing we did uh, is number one we hired a country developer and our country developer is in charge of developing strategy specifically based on our model uh, that we develop in Rwanda and adapt it and that's the key adapt it to the market here man you're not gonna guys not gonna see me the Sun is uh, on the other side so um, so that was been the the key number one, right? You got to adapt the model, test it, see what's working, what's not working. No market is the same, no matter how close the countries are. That's not going to be the same thing. So you're going to have to do that. But you need a country developer um, and you need to spend six months to a year uh, to test the model and see what's working, what's not working. And that will be the, 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 the key structure. The second thing is you're going to need uh, is get a lawyer 
you have to get a lawyer to get all the rules and regulation. Uh, don't try to do everything yourself, find out yourself you're violating something. So get a lawyer. Those are the two things you're going to be doing for the first six months to a year. Uh, and I'll continue sharing some of the topic in a few. Uh, but those are the two things I'll get started on. the few things that I've learned um, expanding is don't look for a fixed office in the beginning right you need to find a, a share office or a, a location where you can share uh, places a lower your cost of operation uh, definitely plus it's a way for uh, mingling with other companies find out who's doing what uh, there may be synergy between companies and then you, you, you'll find out that um, you guys might be doing business. I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, co-sharing space will, uh, will bring value to you. So don't, don't spend time trying to find a fixed office. And that's what we did, at least for the first two, three years, unless you have a team of above 10 people. Then uh, you maybe want to get a fixed office. But in the beginning, and I, I'm speaking specifically for this type of business. Not every business is different, but even if you get started on your country, find a co-sharing space, because this is gonna teach you about the ecosystem of what's happening on the ground. So, um, about to start a, a quick meeting, um, so I'll get back to you. But this, this place, you, you'll see some footage, but uh, Design Hub is one of the best uh, co-sharing space in Kampala. And I'm sure most, uh, I've, I've yet to see any African countries with no co-sharing space. This one is a warehouse uh, that was um, separated. I mean, really, really well done. Glasses, it's open. You have you have uh, meeting rooms like you see here, you know, uh, and uh, you have different section, different pricing. I mean, you, you save a ton of money uh, doing that. So um, definitely uh, check that one out. 